Wind farms are one of the U.S.'s major sources of electricity. Wind energy is appreciated for its clean and eco-friendly energy, but concern has popped up about the highly appreciated energy source. In the past few years, reports have indicated that wind turbines have led to the deaths of countless flying birds. So, can we still say wind farms are eco-friendly? Keep watching to find out. Why are wind farms so important? A wind farm is an open space that contains many wind turbines for the sole purpose of generating electricity. Wind turbines do the reverse of what a fan does. Instead of using electricity to generate wind or cool air, a wind turbine uses wind to generate electricity. So, why have wind farms become important? Apart from solar, it is the next most harnessed form of renewable energy source. Wind energy is mostly referred to as clean energy because it emits no gas, which means fewer greenhouse gas emissions. Other forms of energy pose one threat or another to the environment and human and livestock health. But with wind energy, you get to prevent all that. Another good thing about wind-generated energy is that it's plentiful. It's always there. Renewable energy sources like wind offer more assurance because they are provided by nature. And as far as we know, there will always be winds. Hence, it's inexhaustible. The energy derived from wind farms has steadily increased over the years, greatly improving power in some countries. However, in a country like the US, wind farms are not just a source of energy, but also income. In 2021, investments in new wind-related projects added about $20 billion to the U.S. economy. Wind farms have thus proven to be an indispensable resource in this present age. What was Paul Cryan's discovery? In the past decade, some concerns have sprung up as regards to the use of wind turbines. A research biologist at the U.S. Geological Survey Center in Colorado made a shocking discovery in 2003. Paul Cryan, studying bats since the 1990s, began to notice that bats were being killed at wind energy farms. Cryan was surprised because bats have advanced visual and echolocation abilities to kill insects at night and avoid obstacles in the dark. So how did these night creatures run into rotating turbine blades that killed them? Or a better question would be, why were the bats around the turbines first? Cryan found out that thousands of birds, not just bats, were killed annually at wind farm locations in the U.S. It goes to say that one of the supposedly safest forms of energy sources has committed this felony. Wind energy, which has been marketed as environmentally friendly since its inception, has unfortunately begun to impact the ecosystem we desperately want to preserve. This concern has led experts to investigate the matter to find out the cause of the high mortality rate of bats and other migratory birds. What was the cause of the death of the birds? It has been discovered that out of the 45 species of North American bats, 11 species get killed at wind farms. However, it's still unclear why bats and birds fly into wind turbines. Michael Fry, the American Bird Conservancy's director, tried to give us some insight on this. Fry said that for birds like raptors, it might be that because they are so focused on their prey and dive in a straight line, they might not immediately see the rotating blades or consider them a danger to avoid. Most raptors that have been found dead are rather young and quite inexperienced. Still on why bats die at the blades of turbines, Sean Smallwood, an ecologist, stated that another reason to consider is the fact that birds and bats cannot see the moving turbines when they get within 30 feet of them. To further prove this theory, a professor of psychology, Williams Hoda, cited a phenomenon called motion smearing that explains why the birds may not process the information they are seeing once they get close to rapidly moving blades. However, Cryan stated that the case is different for bats, especially as they are naturally drawn to the largest and tallest trees in the area. And in many habitats, the wind turbines are usually the tallest tree-like structures they see. This may explain why the bats fly towards the rotating blades and thus get killed. But the reason these deaths occur is not fully established, save for speculation. What is certain, however, is that these wind farms are beginning to endanger an otherwise abundant population of birds. I hope you've been enjoying the video so far, but don't go anywhere because I'm about to get into how this situation can be fixed. I mean, it is not enough to just know a problem, right? There's gotta be a solution. So, how can we keep using our eco-friendly energy source and still protect our birds? Stay tuned to find out. What is the toll of these turbine-related deaths? Hints that wind farms might harm wildlife first surfaced at the Outermont Pass wind area, the oldest commercial wind farm in the United States, located about 50 miles east of San Francisco. Researchers first found dead birds there in the late 1980s. From 1999 to 2007, Smallwood looked at the birds at Audemont. He then estimated that about 10,000 birds were killed there every year. Although turbines appear to move slowly, they move very fast, 
reaching up to 180 miles an hour. This means that they are moving very fast but appear slow to the birds. It is estimated that about 3 to 11 birds are killed by each turbine every year. This estimate amounts to as many as 100,000 birds nationwide that meet their deaths at wind farms. In contrast, a 2007 Wildlife Society report estimates that more than 50 bats are killed per turbine yearly at some wind farms, making it almost five times the high estimate for birds. It's expected that as the amount of energy generated from wind farms grows, the number of birds killed will increase. And although there are other means through which birds are killed, wildlife biologists and researchers have stated that there's a need to prevent any form of mortality. So what is the solution to the problem? I think we have already established that wind farms are indispensable. Hence, wildlife officials call for not eradicating these turbines, but for ensuring that they are structured in a way that doesn't threaten wildlife. Lori Jotowitz, manager for sitting at the American Wind Energy Association has spoken up about this problem. Jotsowitz said that the industry has tried to lower the number of bird deaths by building new solid structure poles with fewer places for birds to perch, and by changing the tops of turbines so that birds don't want to land on them. The industry has also tested acoustic and other means of deterring birds and bats from flying around wind turbines, and has funded studies to learn how many bats die and the causes of their deaths. Regardless of how beneficial these actions may be, some people still have opinions about what else they believe may be done to improve the situation, the director of Boston University's Center for Ecology and Conservation Biology, Thomas Kuhns, has an idea of what can be done. Kuhns suggested that wind farms feather their blades, turning blade edges into the wind, so they do not operate during periods of bat migration and low winds. Kuhns also suggested that the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and other federal and state agencies regulate wind farm locations and how they are operated. He suggested the use of pilot projects until the effects of wind farms on wildlife are are better understood. Others have made similar suggestions for lowering the rate of avian deaths caused by wind farms. Hopefully, all of these recommendations and enhancements will succeed in safeguarding animals. Are wind farms a major source of employment in the U.S.? Renewable energy sources like wind farms and solar energy are a major boost for any economy. Ever plentiful, they are a reliable source of revenue and employment. According to a new report, the world's fastest growing industry is solar energy. In 2021, it provided 4.3 3 million jobs, more than a third of the current global workforce in renewable energy. However, wind energy is not left out. The U.S. Department of Energy has confirmed that wind power is one of the fastest growing sectors in the U.S. and a generator of high-quality jobs. In 2021, wind power accounted for 32% of U.S. energy capacity growth and employed 120,000 Americans. Wind power now provides enough energy to power 40 million American homes. That's quite impressive if you ask me. It is undeniable that although wind farms pose a threat to our wildlife. They are, no doubt, an invaluable part of the overall development of our economy. Hopefully, we can come to manage our eco-friendly energy source in a way that also protects our birds. There you have it, guys. So what do you think? Are wind farms truly eco-friendly? Let us know in the comment section. And while at that, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel if you're yet to, so you'll be the first to know whenever we drop an interesting video like this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.